This is Module 5, Lesson 21 Homework on the back. Number 3. Use the number lines on the previous page to make the number sentences true. So you're going to have to flip your paper back and forth to look at the number lines to help you make these number sentences true. Start by finding one-fourth on your number line. It should be on the number line on the top of your page. If you find one-fourth, move your finger down to the bottom of that number line. You should see a fraction with the denominator 8. That numerator is 2. One-fourth equals two eighths. Now flip back on the front and find the fraction six fourths. Move your finger down to the bottom of the number line and find the fraction that is equivalent to six fourths that has 12 as the numerator. You should find the fraction 12 eight. Look back at the front and find the fraction 2 thirds. Move your finger down the number line and under, right underneath you should see a fraction with the, new, the denominator of 6. 2 thirds is equal to 4 sixths. Keep flipping your paper back and forth to fill in the missing information for the fractions underneath. Number four, Mr. Fairfax ordered three large pizzas for his class party. Group A ate six sixths of the first pizza and group B ate eight sixths of the remaining pizza. During the party, the class discussed which group ate more pizza. Did group A or B eat more pizza? Use words and pictures to explain your answer to the class. When I look at this picture, or this problem, I see group A ate six-sixths of a pizza and group B ate eight-sixths of a pizza. So I'm going to draw that. Here is group A's pizza. I'm going to partition it into thirds first and then continue to partition into sixths. To show that group A ate six sixths of the pizza, I'm going to shade one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, and six sixths. That shows me what group A ate. Now group B ate eight sixths of a pizza. So group B first ate six equal parts, just like group A did. One sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, and six sixths. But group B was really hungry so they had to eat more pizza to show eight sixths. The denominator is still the same, so I'm still going to partition into sixths. And I'm going to count to continue. Seven sixths, eight sixths. When I look at these two pictures, group B ate more pizza because they ate more than one whole pizza. So I'm going to write group B ate more pizza because eight sixths is greater than one whole.
Letter B. Later, group C ate all remaining slices of pizza. What fraction did group C eat? Use words and pictures to explain your answer. So we're going to look at this picture here of what is left over. So I'm going to recopy that circle underneath, partition it into sixths, and I'm going to shade what group B ate, which was two parts out of six, which is two sixths. We're taking away, so now this is one whole. It's not along with the other pizza. That tells me that group C ate one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths. Group B. Oh, not group B. Group C eight four sixths of the pizza. The reason it's four sixths and not twelve sixths is we change the whole. This was the whole before. Now we made the whole smaller.